Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. This video will provide a detailed introduction to the usage and operational guide for the Infinity 2000. This is the Infinity 2000. When it arrives at your home, the box will weigh about 58 pounds. Upon opening the box, you will find an accessory box containing the user manual, an AC charging cable, a solar charging cable, a DC charging cable, and a DC barrel cable. Next, let's examine the exterior of the Infinity 2000. This is the front view. You can see several output ports, including an AC, DC, and USB ports. The LCD screen displays detailed information about the device's status. It also features an automatic brightness adjustment based on the ambient light. On the right side is the input port for connecting charging cables. And on the left side is the expansion battery port for connecting additional battery packs. Now, let's look at the power on-off operations. To turn on the device, press and hold the power button for two seconds. To turn off the device, press and hold the power button for three seconds. Next, let's discuss the input operations. First is AC charging. Connect the AC charging cable to the AC input port and it will draw a maximum of 1800 watts. Next is solar charging. Connect the solar charging cable to the XT60 input port with a maximum power of 1000 watts. The device supports combined charging meaning using both the AC and solar inputs simultaneously, allowing for a maximum input power of 2,300 watts. Connect the DC charging cable to the XT60 input port and it will support input voltages of 12 to 24 volts and a maximum input current of 8 amps. The device also features a quiet charge function. Simply press the quiet charge button located on the front to minimize fan noise during indoor or nighttime use. Now let's discuss the output operations. First is the AC output. Short press the AC power button to turn the AC power on or off. The device is equipped with three standard AC output ports with a total maximum power of 2,200 watts. Additionally, there is one TT30 port with a maximum current of 30 amps. The device supports uninterrupted power supply, UPS, with a swift switching time of less than 20 milliseconds. The device also supports the Watt Plus feature, allowing a maximum output power of 3,100 watts. Watt Plus is initially disabled but can be enabled through the Migro application. Next is the DC output. Short press the button to toggle the DC power on or off. The device includes a car outlet, a DC 5521 port, and an Anderson port with a maximum current of 30 amps. Lastly, the USB output. Short press the button to toggle the USB power on or off. The device features four USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, facilitating the connection of various devices. Next, we will introduce the battery expansion operation. Each Infinity 2000 unit can be connected to up to two expansion batteries with a total capacity of 6,144 watt hours. We recommend connecting the expansion batteries to the main unit as a system, allowing you to charge the entire system via grid power or solar panels. The cable connecting the main unit and the expansion battery is located on the top of the expansion battery. Insert one end of the cable into the expansion battery port on the left side, then insert the other end of the cable into the expansion battery port on the main unit to successfully connect them into a system. Next, we will discuss the supported cold startup feature. The Infinity 2000 can start at temperatures as low as negative 22 Fahrenheit, ensuring continuous power supply and charging even under extremely cold conditions. When a battery temperature is between negative 22 and negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, simply connect to an AC input or solar panel in sunlight to automatically heat the battery to operational temperature. Please refer to the user manual for specific heating times. Next, we will introduce the Migro app. The Infinity 2000 is equipped with the Migro application for remote monitoring and control and personalized settings. You can download the Migro app from the App Store or Google Play. Next, check if Bluetooth and Wi-Fi icons on the device are lit up. If not, press the IoT button briefly. 
To connect to your Infinity 2000 via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, go to the device page in the application. Click on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection and follow the instructions on the app to complete the setup. On the product control page, you can monitor inputs and remotely control outputs. Click the settings icon in the top right corner to enter the settings page, where you can make personalized settings such as time scheduling, personal preferences, and mode adjustments. The app also supports remote firmware upgrades. This concludes the operational guide for the Infinity 2000. For more detailed information, please visit the official website to view the user manual for instructions and limitations on each function. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact our official customer service team at any time. We're always happy to assist and listen to your feedback, and thank you very much for watching from us at GrowWatt.